Hey, hey everyone, Greenbeard here. Welcome back to another MLB 9 Innings 23 video on my channel. So, the um, summer TSS has dropped. I'm not getting on the Phillies team because obviously we don't need anyone else. Um, and since all my other teams are more or less free to play, um, you know, outside of the big things like maybe a SIG change down the road or something, um, and I also don't make videos on them, I, I am planning on doing videos for the athletics team, but I... There's a couple things that I want to work on first before I show that team off. I have an athletics team, for those who don't know. Um, but my guess is that that video will probably come either mid to late summer. Um, so we're not quite there yet. Um, probably late summer right now. But anyway, so, you know, I decided to get it on the Twins team. I was using Nine Innings Companion and looking at the odds... And I assumed we just go pitcher because we only have two or three. We have three SIG relief pitchers, but there's room for development there. And we could always pull Walter Johnson. Um, and we have a lot of SIG batters. We, we do. We have a ton of SIG batters. Now, granted, most of them are freaking first basemen because I have that problem on all my teams. But um, anyway, I was looking at the odds and it turns out the... Best chance of not duping and or pulling something we would use um, is a batter. Because with cards like Tyler Duffy out of the game, there are only a handful of SIG relievers we could pull. Duran, any of Rogers' three years, and Guardado. That's it. Just So basically there are six total pitchers we could pull that we would use, one of them being Walter Johnson. And as much as I'd like that card, you know, it's a good card. Uh, I'm Since I'm not primarily a Twins fan, it's not the biggest thing to me if we don't pull him. Um, so we are going to go batter. Obviously, we'd like to pull Chuck Knobloch or Carlos Correa because their fielding is spectacular. Carlos Correa, ideally. Um... And short of that, they've added new SIGs, and for the Twins, that would be Jason Kubel here, who, again, low field, but otherwise a very good hitting stat card. And for a corner outfielder, that's totally fine. Or, ideally, Chili Davis, because his stats are very, very good. Um, we take Kepler-19. Kepler-19 is a very good card. Honestly, I would even take Jock Jones um, at this point. Um, or, ideally... Nelson Cruz. Literally the only difference between these two cards is that 20 has one single point more contact in every other way they're identical. So um, I would love to pull an outfielder or Knobloch or Correa ideally. So um, let's just hop right into it. All right, Minnesota Twins. They're going batter. Let's see. No diamonds. They're both silvers. One. Kepler-19. Eddie Rosario. Okay, so we'll take Kepler-19. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so that means we'll work on him, and he will go into our lineup over our normal um, uh, our normal Nelson Cruz here, who's not... I mean, look, his sitting stats are ridiculous. And he has a train of eight to the right, which is awesome. But... Um, all in all, I think having that SIG is going to be a really nice upgrade. So, um, next steps for this video, I'm going to figure out what train I want. We're going to work on training him up, and then we will um, we'll take him to Diamond. And when that's done, we actually can take somebody Black Diamond today. So, I'm debating whether I want to take Joe Nathan Black Diamond or Kepler... Again, the thing about taking Joe Nathan Black Diamond is we can't get we can't use premium skill change tickets on him just yet, um, because we're still hunting for pitchers. Chem, so my gut again is saying lean batter. So Kepler or Justin Morneau, but probably Kepler because we already have a bunch of first basemen, and if we ever pull Knobloch or Correa. That would push either Polanco or Smalley to DH, which would push Sano to first base, which would push Morneau out of the lineup. 
at least until we get him better skills, which we can't do until we get more premium skill change tickets, which we can't do until we have pitcher's chem. So, anyway, I will go upgrade Kepler and work on a train, and I'll come back when we have uh, a train. All right, so here's the train we have. We're going to finish it off to contact, six to power, and one to field. That at Black Diamond and Max GI will give him 115 field, 111 speed, um, and uh, I can't remember what the batting stats will be off the top of my head. So we're going to finish the train here to contact one field. I'll give him yeah, 14, 14, 16, 15, 9, 6. And then we will go 6 to power. No, right? Oh, sorry. It will be 13, yeah. So this train, I believe, if I recall, is going to be 140 contact. 140i and 145 power. So power will be a little bit lower. Um, but 140, 145, 140, totally cool with that. Getting contact and I up is really good. And his natural power is higher, so that's okay too. Um, and because he is going to have 111 speed and 115 field, what we're going to do is we're going to swap him to center field and we'll move Seavers to right. And We've retrained Seavers accordingly. Um, so he's in up condition right now. So I'll have 113 field, which is still good, but he'll only have 105 speed because it, it's a naturally lower speed card. And so we'll move him over to right field. And we were able to get his batting stats a little higher, and we flipped around contact and eye. So eye's a little higher now. Power's the same. Contact's a tad lower. Um... But I'm okay with that. I think I personally am a bigger fan of high eye over high contact, at least with what I've seen. Um, so, with that being said, we can finally take Kepler to gold and then to diamond. Haven't yet decided who we're going to be deep, but my gut is Kepler right now. And let's take him up to diamond now. Hopefully he comes with a good GI. That would make my life a lot easier. 67. Not great on the GI front. So give me one sec. All right. So we have a GI here. A um, couple guys at 69. Um, but Kepler being at 67, we'll use it on him. Hopefully he goes up. He won't. He's going down because of course he is. Because I've had such awful luck with GI resets on this team of late. All right. All right. So let's use some skill changes on him. Um, well, we'll hold on to it for now. Let's see if we can get him. Ideally, I'd like... So right now he's replacing spot slug heavy hitter on Nelson Cruz which is all right, but it's not great. Um, spot slug doesn't really work together. So ideally, I'd like to see Charisma BIU. Um, that's like always my ideal combo, and he definitely will hit BIU, especially with the update. Um, so we'll see what we can land on. If we have skill change tickets left over, which is, I know, a funny statement because... There's never leftover skill change tickets. You never get good sets. Um, then I would use them on my bullpen, but triple three with charisma, that's better than this set. The only, I mean, I only have a couple greens, so I think I only have one, actually. Um, prediction spot, not good enough. Um, again, I've said it before, but prediction does not really work with slugger skills. Charisma, full swing, no, no. Prediction, charisma, exhaustion. If that was a triple three set, I would have kept it, but it wasn't. 
batting machine triple three nope prediction no prediction a specialist lots of prediction because it seems like the game's heard me and knows that i hate it and said screw you here's lots of prediction charisma spot i'll take that um i don't well, I have five greens, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to roll a couple on the Charisma set. If we get something better, um, then we'll keep it. And if not, then we'll re-roll these set entirely. Charisma spot heavy hitter. Okay, that's better. That's better than um, what he had. So, great. We will roll with that. We only have a handful of skill training tickets. So I will work that in my own time, but the next step here is going to be opening some packs and working on special training. All right, so we'll open, start with silvers. We don't have a ton of packs today, but we will, we will special train them up as far as we can. All right. Yeah, I'm on the fence about whether I want to BD Kepler or more. No, more no is... The, um, I think technically he's a better card, but we have such a log jam at first base, and right now, Sano is one of my best hitters, so if we were to pull Knobloch or Correa, who we kind of need because the current shortstop and second baseman we have have next to no fielding, um, I need, I would need to put those cards in for fielding purposes, which would mean that I would need to bump my DH out, and right now my DH is Sano, so he would have to move to first base, which means Morneau would be um, without a home. Ideally, long term, I'd like to get a better set on Morneau than even Sano currently has, but again, that would require a legend skill, which we don't have premiums for because we cannot, for a lifeland, pitcher's chem. And pitcher's chem is like, it's... Like, I can tell my, my pitchers are suffering without it, if that makes sense. We have opened a bunch of these. We've opened, like, 30 or 40 of these and no diamonds yet. Actually, I think it was more than that. And we're seeing barely any gold, so just absolutely brutal luck with these packs. If we don't see any diamonds, that's, uh, that's pretty friggin' awful. So it seems like we're going that route. All right, we have 15 more. Okay, looks like we're not going to get any diamonds. And last five. No diamond luck. Okay, so this game said, you want a special train? Sucks to suck. Okay, so we'll open the premium batter pack. I hate these random assorted packs. They just kind of clog up my inventory. Matty Morris, five premium pitchers, and we have to do the live season premiums. Ooh, live season cards. Um, you know, the completely, completely, totally useful cards in this game, live season cards. Um, the only reason I would do it is if it's a card that's, it's, they're a player of the month, you have an extra live season wish player pack, and that card could help you. That's really the only um, the only way that I would ever use one of them. Kent Maeda 23. Not going to open team selects yet because I'm not entirely sure where they're going to go. All right, and we'll work on Kepler here. Okay, see how far we can get him. I think my thought process is if we are able to get him to 8, we'll black diamond him. Well, actually, not that it really matters, but... Should use up all our cards, I believe, since we didn't have any diamonds. No. Oh, okay, it was just using special train, train material first. Okay. Alright. And now let us... Go finish up packs. We have 11 alts, so my guess is zero diamonds. 
as has tended to be the case on this team. Oh, there's at least one. My guess is one diamond then. Yep, exactly one diamond. Although we did get a... That's a new Paul Assenmacher. I've never heard of him before, but that is a new vintage for sure. All right, so one diamond out of 11 ults. Slightly better than my normal luck, and way under the odds for what ultimate player packs are supposed to be, because that kind of feels like how everything is right now. Although there we pull three diamonds from the live season useless player packs. <laughs> All right. Well, that special train material for us. Live season diamond pack. Colton Wong having a bad year, apparently. Three. Again, I'm not sure what I want to do with the team packs, team select packs yet. All right, so no legends or primes. Any vintage? Nope. And nothing useful for us. Team select diamond. All right, who are we going to go? What legend are we hunting? We would like a relief pitcher legend. So we're going to go Cubs. Let's go Cubs. And yeah, and we'll open all of these team packs with the Cubs. I wasn't sure if I should save them for the Twins, but... I don't really care. Let's just go all Cubs. I would just like to pull a Suitor. Legend. I mean, any Legend would be great, but... There's a Vintage, but it's not a Legend. Still no Legend. I know the chance is, like, less than a tenth of a percent. I'm just kind of... Just kind of having fun. You know, it gives you a reason to, um... To have fun opening the packs, right? Nothing there. Okay. And team select pitcher batter. We'll go Cubs. We'll go pitcher. And the reason we're doing this is because, again, we have no normal cards that really could help this team. Not a legend. Not a prime. Not a vintage. Okay. Um, oh, this is something else I like to do. Um, if I need special train material, that's nice and easy. Exchange that for a ton of special train material. And while we're here, let's open the Prime Pack and the Premium Vintage Packs. Justin Verlander. It's a nice one to have. I don't know if I have it on this team yet. And two Premium Vintage Packs. No Diamonds. No Legends. Nothing for this team either. All right. Now let's go to Kepler. And continue working on his special train. Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do that. We'll almost get him to eight, and then we'll black diamond him and start working on him to nine. Um, all right. Well, who do we want to black diamond? I think that is the conundrum. So... We have, I'm just going to, I'm just doing this to take a look at the card. He's a 70 base. 73, 77, 73. Kepler is a better card. I did not realize that. I assumed since Morneau won MVP that year that I was a better card, but it's not. I guess it's kind of crippled by the old um, way they used to calculate stats and power creep. So we're going to Black Diamond Kepler. Um, again, bullpen would be great, but it's tough because I'm not going to set skills on them until I can get legend skills, and I, I can't, you know. So, batters at least can benefit from the extra stats and can still work pretty successfully with triple three sets. All right. Now we can throw the rest of the special train material we have into him. And we don't quite get him to level 9, but we at least get him to 8. And we're 65% we're of the way there. So um, we're getting close. We're definitely getting close there. Uh, got a little ways to, little work to do with his GI. Um, 
got another GRE set from the club store, used it on him. So there we go. Um, and we're well on our way to our next um, Black Diamond. Again, I would at this point, I would probably go Nathan and then Morneau um, in terms of who I'm going to Black Diamond next just because of the logjam at first base scares me a little bit. Anyway, so here are his skills. We'll work on leveling them up. Triple three set. We're going to swap him in over the Kepler we have. He has not even finished his special train and is already looking pretty sick. Um, yeah, and while he um, isn't... He's... His power is lower than Nelson Cruz's, but his other stats are higher, and he's also not done his um, special train yet, but um, he's already at 110 speed and 115 field, so that's um, pretty darn good in my eyes. So we'll swap him. We'll move him to center field. Move you over. No, we want to move you to right field. Clemente can go to left. Right. Yeah, that's what we want to do. It's got the better set. Charisma Slugger. Charisma Spot Heavy Hitter. We're probably going to do more or less the same for me. Just I'll just do that to, because he's BD. So there we go. All right, that should wrap up this part of the video. And I'd love to hear what cards you got. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.